that eyelash? What the hell? Okay. Hey everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back. I can't find my other dinger. <laughs> so today we're just gonna be slapping the meditation drum. Just. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Thanks for your time. I was traveling, comedy shows, traveling again, driving. Twenty. 22 hours good times so we're back let's talk about a few things are you feeling like you are being choked from life so what happens is as we have negative emotions that kind of close in on us right they kind of come in and just squeeze and squeeze and they don't let us say what we need to say they don't let air get to us to have a good thought process. Negative emotions will literally choke off the blood supply for us to be healthy, live right, have a good life, right? Be happy. How can you be happy when you're choking? You can't even breathe. You just want to breathe. And so that's what, a negative, what negative emotions do. They come up. And they literally just come around you and grab your neck and just they just squeeze, right? And then you're like, oh, well, it's okay. My lips are blue. That's all right. It's like the new lipstick. No, it's not okay. Also, you know when you are, let's say you get one new tire, okay? And then all of a sudden your tires are out of alignment, right? So you have to go get an alignment. For your tires to make sure that everything is running in balance right you want it run smooth you don't want to be driving through life like this if you wouldn't drive a car like that why would you let your life be like that you might have different things that are out of alignment so your work-life balance your negative emotions might be overtaking you which are then choking you you might have uh, you're eating right, and yet you are super stressed out. So it's working against each other, right? So that is out of alignment. You might be working out and not sleeping enough. Out of alignment. You might be putting out a happy face, and yet your insides are just crumbling. Out of alignment. And people can genuinely feel that out of alignment right because that's going to be the energy that you're giving off have you ever felt when somebody comes up to you especially if you're empathetic um you're an empath and you can feel that when somebody comes at you sometimes it literally feels like a fork in the light socket right when they walk up to you and it's like too much energy too much right that is out of alignment that is coming like wide open right at you and then what? Then we get a negative emotion. Then we are, then we go, oh, that's too much energy. Shut down. Don't say what I need to say because it might push this person over the edge. Or what happens is when you find yourself in alignment, things start flowing so much easier. Okay. It's literally like if you were to be whitewater rafting and you just pop in on your raft and then all of a sudden you are just easy flow down the river. Can you imagine if you get in the river and you're just paddling and paddling and all the waves and all the water is just coming at you and you're fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. That's not easy. That is not easy. That's not an alignment. Then you need to figure out, should we move the white, the wa the raft? I'm saying the raft. <laughs> Do you need to move the raft up the river to get in at a different spot? Maybe you're trying to force something right here and that's not where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be up at the river over here. And then guess what? Then when you pop in the river, you just, it's easy flowing. Have you ever thought that? Have you ever thought, gosh, your life looks so easy. It's work. Of course it's work. Because making things look easy is a lot of practice and a lot of work. When everyone's like, oh, you're just so happy. You're just so this or you're just so that. It's a lot of work. It starts from the minute I wake up. So the minute I go to sleep, it's a lot of work. 
And it's all about that balance. And when something's out of balance, you can feel it, right? Because then things start getting wobbly in life. You know, your thought process, your, your health, your wealth, your business, your friends, your relationships, things like that are all wobbly. If things are wobbly, check your alignment. I guess that would be what I could help with. I can help with an alignment. Front end alignment, back end alignment, is your head up your... <laughs> you might need a back end alignment. You need a front end alignment? This is front end alignment. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to give a little lesson before we laugh today. So today we are doing laughing meditation. I appreciate you being here. If you have done laughing meditation before, awesome. Welcome back. If you haven't, it's super easy. We laugh just for the sake of laughing because we can. And it raises our vibration. It raises our uh, feel-good hormones. It's going to start your day off right. It's going to let people think you are the minority and not normal, which is even better because then that will attract the people that you need to be attracting. And you're going to repel all the negativity. Perfect. It's kind of like a... I was going to say mosquito repellent because you don't want those, like, little negativity blood suckers on you. So kind of like that. Yeah, mosquito season's coming. Spring is out. The bugs are out. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to set a timer for a one minute because I did the little talk before. So let's do one minute of laughter. It's 60 seconds. Okay, it's literally 60 seconds. You're going to laugh as hard as you can. And if you aren't able to find your laugh right now, that's okay. Just hearing me laugh will help your space in here and in your energy space. Also, if you can't laugh, you can fake laugh. I don't know how to fake laugh, so I would imagine it would be something like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to set a timer, one minute. And we are going to take a nice deep breath in through our mouth. Just kidding. Our, higher. Up through our nose. And we're going to just literally shove it out. Way out. Like, just take your hot air. Like, you just ate, like, pizza with onions and a bunch of other crazy sardines. Gross. And you just shove it out there so people stay away from you. Okay? So we're going to do that twice. And then we're just going to start laughing for one full minute. Okay. Here we go. Deep breath in through your your smelling holes. <laughs> then you blow it out through your talking hole. <laughs> okay. Hold. <laughs> okay, we didn't start yet. Okay. Hold. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set the timer and go. <laughs> Okay. 